All right, welcome back, Mech Warriors. So this should be the final installment for the actual battle mech itself. <clears throat> I think we just need to move on to painting the base, and uh, we were looking pretty pretty set. So we have the <clears throat> we finished the oil wash. Uh, we removed it, the excess. We've got our, our nice uh, crisp and clean. He's all dry. We can uh, we can paint on it with acrylics again. I want to do a couple cleanup things and the weapon effects before we uh, sign this guy off as being finished. And then we will jump into the base and stick him on it. So first off, I've got uh, over here the uh, uh, red from Chimera Colors, the same one we were using as a highlight for the red stripes earlier. We're just going to do a little bit of uh, kind of chipping to mimic the blue chips that we've done on the main armor. We're going to do that with red as well as uh, this off-white here. Um, from AK Interactive Off-White. And uh, then I've got some black here. We're going to reinforce just a couple of the lines on the hazard stripes to make them a little more solid looking, a little less wavy. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, because it's actually a little bit better if you mix, pre-mix these and let them sit on your wet palette for a couple minutes so they're not so much of a gel. Um, I've got yellow fluorescent paint and green fluorescent paint from uh, Vallejo model color. I've got... Uh, the same ones in a few different brands. Um, these like Fluoro FX from Scale 75. Uh, basically the same thing. Those ones are a little bit more fluid. You don't have to uh, mix them as much. Uh, I generally do a little bit of green. <clears throat> and then a fair amount, of, fair amount of yellow. The yellow is very thick. So more yellow than green. <clears throat> just for the, the brightness that I like to use. Uh, and then I've also got here some uh, Badger Ghost Tint or Minotaur uh, Plasma Fluid Ghost Tint. This one's a little bit old. It doesn't work as well as it used to. Uh, it works fine for doing lasers, but it's not as... Uh... I don't know I don't know what property it's lost, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't flow as well as it used to through the airbrush and it doesn't cover as well as it used to. So I feel like there's some some paint congealed at the bottom, maybe, that's not mixing properly. It's pretty old. But for what we're doing, it's going to work just fine. <clears throat> so what we want to do is uh, we want to get a little bit of thinned white. Uh, not, not super thin, but we want it to be... I'm just going to put two drops here in case I need it later. Um, so we wanted to put these in the gun barrels. Uh, we don't want it so thick that it's just kind of painting uh, only where we touch the brush. We want it to run into the barrel a little bit, but we don't want it so fluid that it's going to fill up and wash out of the barrel or obscure any of the uh, heat effect that we've done. So I get kind of a... Yeah, that's a good consistency. It's not running too much. So we do want our brush a little bit full, though. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to hold them... Uh, Hold them up close here. So I'm just going to kind of use the capillary action of the brush so I touch it and it's going to, oh, it's a little bit thick maybe. I want it to run in a little bit more than that. So I'm going to just test it on the, uh, this, the medium lasers here. There you go. So I should be able to, uh, and I want to make sure I get a full. The, uh, let me make sure we get the full, full outline or full circle, circular shape there. It's going to be very apparent if we have a kind of a janky shape or a missed, missed spot once we put the, the fluorescence over it. So fairly thick white. It's fairly bright. Um, you could probably wick a little bit of that away, but I'm not too concerned. And then the end of the PVC, I don't want to have a, I want to have a nice round shape, but I don't want to spill out of the barrel. There we go. Yeah. That looks good. And then we'll still do these backgrounds as well. There you go. Yeah. That's the that's perfect consistency there. 
just fluid enough that it runs off the brush into the into the recess. <clears throat> so we'll give them a couple minutes to dry. In the meantime, let's grab a little bit of this black. And we are just going to fix up these lines here because they look a little a little shabby in some spots. a little thicker. I did mess up though. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit tough doing it with the camera right in front of your face. But I think that looks chunkier. I like that. I'll fix up the yellow, but it does look better. The top looks fine. <clears throat> the arm looks fine. That arm looks fine. I think these look fine. I'll do a little bit of a cleanup on these. Just they're a little more solid looking. <clears throat> but we do need to clean up that one kind of black mark we left. So I'm just going to grab our yellow from earlier. Just a little bit runny, but should still work. Nice. Yeah, that's fine. It's trying to be really careful of that. <clears throat> you can really get stuck into going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> but, oops, sorry, I hope that was at least in, in frame. I wasn't looking. Yeah, so it's cleaned up a bit there. Perfect. That feels good. Okay, so red as well. We're going to grab a little bit of the red. <clears throat> and we're just going to be doing some... Uh, Similar to the chipping pattern we were doing. The blue. So we're just doing some dots. Very small dots with the tip. Tip of our brush. Being careful, I don't want to, because we did the black wash already, I don't want to ruin any of that. But we're just roughing it up, throwing a couple, a couple texture points in here, so it's not a s smooth kind of... Smooth panel, or a smooth transition down the panel as much, just because we did so much chipping with the blue. And we'll do the same down here. torso here, same thing. We have our top here. We'll do the same thing with the the white.
just in the same fashion. And on the edges, edges of panels, just to mimic what we've got going on elsewhere. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. So I think we're ready. We've let the uh, kind of colors over here sit for long enough. Our white should be. Let me get a bigger brush. Our white should be nice and dry. So I take a little bit of water just from my uh, rinse cup here. Mix these together. So the yellow and the green together make a, a lot more potent uh, fluorescent green than just green by itself. It, it can look fine, but I play a lot of uh, Battletech on the computer and MechWarrior Online and Mech5. And I definitely like the, uh, the bright, bright laser colors you get with the games. So I'm going to take... It's fairly thick still. You could wait till it's um, watered down a little bit more, or you can mix a little bit thinner, but I like it to be a little, little thicker, a little more punchy. So we're gonna put it right over top of the um, the white uh, pre-shading we've done, just like that. And because it's fluorescent, it's really gonna show up with the white underneath. And generally, I'll just leave it there. That'll be as far as I go for the lasers. Hmm. One side seems to be a lot brighter than the other. I wonder if it's uh, just kind of like rough casting or rough, yeah, inside the lasers where it's like uh, smooth on the on the right hand side and then it'll really chopped up on the left hand side in the barrels. Okay, and then some more green on the back here. These two. Green, green. Obviously, they're not all going to be firing all the time, but it's nice to have some points of interest across the model. And then the plasma fluid. We'll get a little bit on our brush. And I'm going to drop it in a little bit too much in the barrel. So it's full like that. I'm going to do a kind of a wraparound pass just to get a little bit of blue on the outside of the barrel as well. And then I'm going to take my brush, my clean, my... I, Pulled the paint off the brush, and I'm just gonna kind of use capillary, the capillary action of like stabbing into the into the fluid, so it sucks back up into the bristles, just a little bit, so it leaves some in the recesses there, in slightly different amounts because of the conical shape inside, and because of that white dot we put inside there, it's got a, a nice fade. So you could go back in, you could uh, after these dry, a couple minutes, you could come in with a dark green ink or something, or a neon green ink. Um, you could accent those a little bit more on the outer edges but I think that looks I think that looks fine for me yeah you can see this this gun right here looks pretty pretty choppy this medium laser yeah it's just just rough just a rough casting inside of it <clears throat> but yeah you get that also you can see the so our kind of gun barrel does get darker towards the end there we have our, our fade fade going on and then the PPC energy inside so I might actually add a little bit more blue to that one. And this I'm going to really just try and concentrate on the outer outer edge, not trying to get right in the center. There we go. Yeah, just like a little bit darker blue on the outer edge. I think that's good. Awesome, I like that. So we've got our yellow lines cleaned up. We've uh, done a couple touch-ups on the tracksuit lines there. One last thing I think I'd like to do is just clean up the blue a tiny bit. So for that, we're going back to our, our Chimera blue. Just a dot down. <clears throat> Again, this is our really dark, dark, strong blue. There's just a couple spots when I've been spinning the model around in my hand that I've noticed a little bit of spillover on the white. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And I'm more than happy sharing a process of 
having to fix things and tidy up and clean things because that's the reality of model painting. It's never going to be the finished photo you see from right out of the gate. There we go. So clean that up. That's a little sharper definition on the white there. We don't have that kind of bowing shape or feel. Yeah, that looks good. Well, I am happy to uh, happy to call that done there. Let's do one quick look around. I don't think there's anything else. I really feel the need to to change. Groovy. So we will come back to paint the base, mount them on it, and I think we are looking good. <laughs>